What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a top WWE star defends Triple H's booking, a huge title match confirmed for Raw, a babyface turn is edging much closer, a wrestling legend buries AEW, is an AEW star WWE bound, money in the bank cash in almost went down, a huge name makes a WWE debut, bad news concerning Roman Reigns, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Now see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at a top WWE star defending Triple H's booking. Our top story today takes a look at a recent interview from the 2024 King of the Ring winner Gunther who has defended a WWE booking call. And whilst for the most part Triple H has mastered the booking and presentation of the ring general since Gunther won the 2024 King of the Ring, but he's barely been on TV and has only started appearing again regularly on the road to SummerSlam. Whilst fans have criticized his booking decision, Gunther has come to defend Triple H during an interview with Gorilla Position, and he explained exactly why he's not been on TV of late. Overall, I'm a big fan of less is more. I think it's a rule that applies in most occasions in life. I think in general, it makes sense right now. After I won the King of the Ring, it was clear I will be challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam. To be fair, there was not really a need to be involved that much before Money in the Bank. I had the luxury of leaning back for a few weeks and just looking at things that happened and looking at all the drama that went on with the Judgment Day and Seth bringing back and all the chaos with Punk and Drew. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with Gunther saying less is more? Should he be on TV more now that he's number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a popular WWE stable haven't broken up yet. Now speaking of Gunther, during his interview with Gorilla Position, Gunther discussed whether Imperium had come to an end. Whilst Imperium has been presented as a duo on TV in recent months, Ludwig Kaiser has since embarked on a claimed singles run, so it's been heavily implied that Imperium is over. Gunther has addressed this and he claims that Imperium isn't obsolete. It's just a case of both men doing their own things as single stars. I mean, it's a duo right now. I think it's important that now he does things on his own. Obviously, we'll always have the bond and always stick together when it's necessary. That won't change, but that also doesn't mean that we always have to be seen together every minute on television. I think everybody's aware that there's a connection and there's no reason to assume that it's not there anymore, but I've always been big about handling my matches myself without wanting or needing help, and he's going to do the same now. I think that's a very good experience to make and it's a very good path to follow. If things get dangerous or difficult for me, we always know we can rely on each other. Next up, a huge title match confirmed for Raw. A major title match has been confirmed for Raw tomorrow night. Raw General Manager Adam Pearce took to WWE social platforms to confirm that Sami Zayn will defend his Intercontinental title against Ilya Dragunov on the show. This is a PLE worthy matchup and WWE are giving it away for free on television. Fans are theorizing on X that Bron Breaker could insert himself into the match and this will open the door for the rumored triple threat match going down at SummerSlam in just under three weeks time. Also confirmed for the show is Bronson Reed vs Sheamus, as well as a face-off between Gunther and world champion Damian Priest ahead of their SummerSlam encounter. Next up, Damian Priest's babyface turn edging closer. It's been expected for some time that the world champion Damian Priest will embark on a babyface turn. Whilst he's still officially a heel as part of the Judgment Day faction on Raw, his presentation and character motivations have very much been babyface-esque. During a dark match following SmackDown this week, Priest began to participate in the Yeet taunt with Jey Uso, which of course is a babyface act. WWE are likely to lead into this babyface style of booking for Priest heading into SummerSlam, especially because the world title match for the show consists of two heels. Are you guys excited for Priest's inevitable babyface run? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a wrestling legend buries AEW. Eric Bischoff is never one to shy away from burying AEW, and his appearance on Wise Choice was no exception. During this specific podcast appearance, Bischoff took aim at Tony Khan signing ex WWE talent, and he would label it as a career ender. Tony's whole thing is signing WWE people. Those are the WWE people, no disrespect at all, but they've all kind of rounded the curve in WWE. Career wise, health wise, whatever, they're on their way out. Great, stop in AEW, make a fortune, have some fun, work with some people you enjoy. Absolutely, God bless you. I'm jealous. There's a handful of those situations. Small handful. The rest of the talent that comes from WWE to AEW is just getting, I mean, it's a career ender. Whilst Bischoff is entitled to his opinion on AEW, he often takes things a bit too far and has basically become his brand to scold and rip apart the AEW product. Next up is Ricky Stark's WWE Bound. 
one name that seems destined to be WWE bound is Ricky Starks. Starks at one stage was considered to be one of AEW's brightest, youngest talents, yet he's barely been used on AEW TV over the past 12 months or so. It's a common consensus amongst fans that Starks should try his luck in WWE, however according to Sean Ross Sapp on Fightful Select's Q&A, Starks isn't in a position to jump ship at this stage. I don't think he's in the position to right now. This likely means that Stark remains under AEW contract. It's unknown where the contract runs out and due to WWE likely wanting to sign Starks as soon as possible, it's unlikely that AEW will be willing to release Starks from his current deal. Next up a huge name makes a WWE debut. A WWE have wasted no time in debuting their newest acquisition, Stephanie Vakur. Last night at a live event in Mexico City, Vakur made her official WWE debut, defeating Isla Dawn in the process. As she was advertised for the show and debuting her so quickly implies that WWE see her a bright future for one of the best women's wrestlers in the world right now. Next up, a Money in the Bank cash-in almost went down. Now, last night's live event in Mexico was notable for a number of reasons. One of the main talking points coming out of the show is that WWE almost delivered a Money in the Bank cash-in. Tiffany Stratton would attempt to cash in on Bailey during the show, only to have her efforts stopped by Bianca Belair. The bell never officially rang, so as things stand, Stratton is currently still Ms. Money in the Bank. Now, the show itself was main evented by Cody Rhodes defeating Santos Escobar to retain the WWE title, and other key matches on the show included Bayley vs. Belair and the Bloodline vs. Andrade, Randy Orton, and LA Knight. Next up, did Natalia almost leave WWE? Now, it's been confirmed that Natalia has re signed with the WWE. It poses a question was she going to leave the company? Well, according to Sean Rassap on Fightful Select, there was interest in Natalia from other companies, and this interest extended to her husband, Tyson Kidd. Sources confirmed with Fightful that the deal was a multi-year contract. Natalia had interest outside of WWE, but most companies expected her to stay with WWE. There was also interest in her husband TJ Wilson as a producer in multiple companies. We're told that WWE learned that losing Natalia was a real possibility and wanted to get her signed long term before she hit the free agency period. Ultimately, the two sides got a deal done before her contract expired. Many congratulations to the WWE veteran on her new deal. And finally, bad news regarding Roman Reigns? Our final story today takes a look at the latest news surrounding Roman Reigns' potential return. It's expected that Reigns will return to WWE in the next few weeks, with the primary rumor currently being that Reigns will return at SummerSlam following Cody Rhodes vs. Sola Sokoa. But nevertheless, a Sean Ross sap on Fight Force Select states that Reigns returning at SummerSlam isn't confirmed. Or could WWE be planning a different return for Reigns? If Reigns fails to return at SummerSlam, there will inevitably be a ton of disappointment amongst the fanbase. This will especially be the case if Rhodes vs Sokoa main events the show as a lot of fans are expecting SummerSlam to go off the air with Reigns returning as a full-blown babyface. Interestingly, PW Insider Elite have a report out that states that one of the creative plans was to have Reigns return before SummerSlam. As we mentioned on the No Name show earlier this week, Roman Reigns is expected back by SummerSlam. As noted on Wednesday, at one point the plan was for him to return two to three weeks before SummerSlam, which is about to be now. A WWE only have three editions of the blue brand left before their summer spectacle, so it's unlikely that Reigns returns before the next WWE PLE. PW Insider are traditionally an incredibly reliable source, so it poses a possible reality that WWE over the past months or so changed their creative plans for SummerSlam. It's possible that they were going to deliver Reigns vs Sokoa at SummerSlam, but have since deviated from that and are now committed to Rhodes vs Sokoa for the WWE title. As always, we'll keep you informed on the latest rumors surrounding Reigns' highly anticipated return to WWE. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.